Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Rainbow Parrot Art Tutorial. I hope you're all super excited. I'm here with Mr. Chico. He's gonna help us make some art today. So in this video, I'm gonna do the first part of our project and can I see the camera, mom? Okay, so I just wanna show. This is a Keel Build Toucan. And here we have some really, really cute projects. So these are oil pastels. And I'm gonna walk you through, okay, here's, here's the camera, mom. Thank you, I'm so lucky to have a camera, a camera person, aren't I? Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through the drawing process for this in this video. In the next video, we'll do the coloring process. So mom, if you're able to zoom in on this now. The first thing I want you all to do is write your name on the back of your paper and extra bonus points if you put the year, because it's always nice to know if you save things, what year you made them. Okay, so mom, are you zoomed in right here? Mm -hmm. Awesome, okay. The first thing I want you to do for your picture is kind of the lower bottom portion. I want you to draw, geez, my way. I want you to draw a stick kind of coming out of your picture like this. Be kind of pointing up. You can you can add to it if you want it to kind of be however you want to do it. It can just be a, a simple line like that, okay? Make that darker so they can see it. Better. Yeah. So really mm -hmm. simple. Is that a branch? Yeah, just a branch coming out. And you don't even have to add that if you don't want to. It can just be a simple line. Chico's leaning on my arm right now. Can you get that, Mom? It's kind of cute. <laughs> He's making it hard for me to draw, so if my drawing looks bad, we'll blame Chico, right? Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, now I don't want you to use such dark pencil marks because you're gonna need to erase some of your marks, but I'm gonna do it in this, in this video because I want you to see the lines I'm making. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a big circle. Do you, can you see this, Mom? Yeah, so I'm gonna add a big circle in the middle of my drawing. So you can just stay focused here, Mom, if mm -hmm. you don't mind. All right, what a team we are. And I'm gonna do a big circle right here. Now notice how soft I'm starting it till I get the shape I want. I'm doing it really soft. Is that the body? Yeah, and then I'm gonna go, um, once I decide I get it just how I want it, I can make it darker. But I want to, I'm gonna erase some of it because I'm gonna do the head up here. And it's gonna turn into one shape so i'm just doing the light shapes i hope you can see this enough i'm going to make them dark in just a minute though so so hang in there if you can't see it very well okay i've got the beak here i've got the head i did a circle here i did a long shape for a beak make sure your circle is nice and large because it's really central to your picture and then you can do a little triangle underneath for the tail see i'm adding a little triangle there you don't have to do that but i think it looks really cute i also like to add like little legs sticking out of the branch like that okay so now that I have my basic shapes, I'm gonna go around with dark pencil. I'm gonna outline, I like it when the body kind of overhangs the branch just a little bit because it makes the, the toucan look all cute and chubby. And then I'm gonna make it come up like this. And I'm gonna do the beak in a minute. I'm gonna do the head around like this and the body like that. So you see how I didn't fill in this part. I just left that really light. And then um, go ahead and move up for the head and the bill. I like the shape of that, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with my dark pencil marks, like that. Now again, you can use really light pencil marks. I just want you to be able to see this in the video, okay? All right, so there's the basic shape of our toucan, and now this is a really cool part of this, this particular toucan species has this amazing yellow color, this like fluorescent, beautiful fluorescent bib, kind of covering its face and down its neck. So you're gonna do that kind of shape around the head and down to the chest like that. And then it's got this incredible like green eyeliner around its eye. So we're gonna do a big circle for the green eyeliner around its eye. And then this is gonna be black. And then this little circle, is, we're gonna leave it white. So we're gonna color that black. We're gonna do fluorescent green there. And we're gonna do that beautiful fluorescent yellow there. The rest is gonna be solid black. And we can talk about that. Now, the bill of this toucan is so beautiful. We'll talk about that in the next video. All right, so the next thing I want you to add before you do any oil pastels, I want you to add some plants in your background and make it look really tropical and cool. So I'm just gonna have some, these are like meant to be kind of tropical leaves. I'm gonna add my background and you can add like maybe a couple colorful flowers. I'm just making up this flower. I don't know if it's a, there's an actual flower that looks like that or not. Um, and then I have some more leaves kind of sticking out of my background, kind of like framing my toucan. Does that make sense? Because he's sitting in a rainforest? Yes. Or he, is? he or she. 
is is in a rainforest. So you can add your little plants and add different types of plants, but I really want you to to make it look like there. Don't do too much detail because it gets hard with oil pastel and too much detail. And you're gonna be coloring this background a beautiful bright blue color. So if you get your plants like super duper detailed, it's gonna be really hard to, you know, like even this plant, it's gonna be hard to color the blue around it. So make your plants kind of big and thick so that you can, so I just made that a little bit thicker. Big and bold. Yeah, big and bold so that it's easy to color your plants and it's, it's also easy to go back and, um, fill in your that beautiful bright blue in the background. This is gonna look so beautiful when you're done with it. And then we're gonna um, mount it on some black paper. It's gonna look awesome, I can't wait. Okay, that's it, thank you.